There are so many recorders on the market. Sometimes they are not as good as they should be in terms of features or user experience. Which one is the best for you? We are introducing a brand new series where we will review popular recorders covering everything from price to preferences. Fair and just. Need no trouble identifying the pros and cons by yourself. Hello guys, I'm Kenneth from Fongpo, a company committed to mobile solutions. Today, Movavi and Fongpo, the stage is yours. If you find our video helpful and want us to make more great content, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, I will walk you through pros and cons between Movavi screen recorder and Fongpo screen recorder in detail. Let's find out what worth a try. Okay, Movavi looks simple on the main surface. Let's record something to see if it really works. First thing first, it just offers a trial version for 7 days. Movavi Screen Recorder is compatible with both Windows and Mac. Click Screen Recording on the sidebar. Select the area of the screen that you want to capture. Activate System Audio and Microphone to capture the sound. So if you are doing the full screen recording, the recorder can't block pop-ups for us, I guess. Hit the rack button. The recording will start after a short countdown. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Kenneth from Fongpo, a company committed to mobile solutions. Click pause when needed. You can add some drawings. Hit the camera icon to take a screenshot. To finish the recording, click stop. It has the scissors to do a basic edit of your recording. Then click the export button. Choose the output format and save. You see, we can find watermarks on output recordings, because it's the trial version, I mean. Generally speaking, Movavi Screen Recorder is a nice screen recording program. It covers most of the features that you need to record videos and is especially suitable for those who prefer to get a lightweight product. But also, it sacrifices features like phone, game recorder, or recording presets. You cannot lock the recording window to avoid pop-ups or stop the recording automatically. It is essential when recording business meetings or online classes. Therefore, it may be a bit pricey from that. If you are looking for an easy-to-use recorder with more features, I think you can check out Phonepod Screen Recorder. Now, let's see what's in it. Install and launch Phonepod Screen Recorder. We can see there are 6 recorders, including a video recorder, game recorder, phone recorder, and audio recorder that specializes in recording sound. Turn on both system sound and microphone to record the beating recording. Select the recorder beating. You can also add an explosion window to avoid unwanted pop-ups. Try Windows Recorder on specific windows if you want to avoid pop-ups altogether. What if you have to leave for a long time and can't end the record in person? Click Auto Stop and choose the ending time. Set the ending time and the mode you want. Even if you can't catch up with a meeting or a class on time, you can always click Pass Schedule to schedule a recording task in advance. Click the red button to start recording. Float panel won't be captured without specific setting. We can pause the recording anytime. That's a great feature for gamers. No need to be afraid when there is an emergency and you have to redo the game record. Click the red stop button to export and save the meeting. Basic and uh, advanced streamer are supported in phone post screen recording. No watermarks even in the trial version. More editing tools can be found in history. Videos file are too large. Here, choose video compressor to compress the file size losslessly. 
You can also choose File Converter to change the video format, resolution, and quality. If you have a high demand on professional screen recording, you can also click Preferences to find more possibilities. Phonecore Screen Recorder's free version can record unlimited time and save 3 minutes recording. But it clearly offers more practical advanced recording features. Though it's not that lightweight, it's also well compatible with both high or low end computers. That's a wrap on today's video. If you find this video helpful, do drop a like and a comment down below. Next, we will do Bandicam reviews. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss out on any updates. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video.